I got you something. A cat. Her name's Tabitha. What a sweetheart. Thanks, Bill. And I got her for free. Down at the pound. What are you doing? Fixing the leaky sink. Oh. Oh, when I told you to do the dishes, I didn't mean fix the leaky sink. That's kind of a can's job, you know? I'll take care of that. Sure. Okay. Studying? Yeah. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I'm 22, you're 21, just starting college. I'm a police officer. On your way to detective. And I make enough money for the both of us. I just thinking, uh, I was just thinking... You still want me to drop out? Well, yeah. <coughs> Greer Grant, will you marry me? Yes. Be a housewife. Lots of bookends do it. I love you, Bill. And I love you. That was great. Yeah. I'm still hungry, though. Dinner is usually before what we just did. Who cares? We're engaged now. Were we going to the Italian place tonight? I haven't decided yet. What do you think about burgers? What's on your mind, Greer? I was just thinking. Maybe I could join the force. Be a patrol Wokan on my way to detective. We could be partners. On duty and off. <coughs> uh, I might be able to help you get a part-time typist job. Lots of reports to fill out. No, Greer. Why not? Well, it's simple. Uh, see, just before we met, see, I met one of those superheroes. I called her X-23, only she was dead. See, I cleaned up the body. It was a mess. Was she a Canvenger? No, I don't think so, but that's exactly my point. She's dead, and so are the Convengers. All of them. That's what you get if you play hero. Leave it to the cans, honey. We don't need another Wokan hero. Fine. You'll like that type of job. It's nice and quiet, make decent money. And you won't always have to wait for me to buy you everything. All right, let's see the money. Bill. Bills? Lots of them. Are you some kind of vagrant? I'm the one with the gun. I can help you. Take you to a homeless shelter. No. <laughs> oh. Grant, I'm sorry for your loss. We were buddies down at the station. We suspected, but I didn't think he'd actually do it. Excuse me? Officer Nelson was a good police officer. About the case, our department is too busy to run down some elusive vagrant. And the, the shot uh, seems to be self-inflicted. What? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Now maybe you're making up this story about this murderer to save face? I told you what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Tabitha. Bill's gone. Already dropped out of college. And I've got to find a job by the end of the month or we're out on the streets. Sorry, Miss Grant, we have no open availability. I understand. Thanks for your time. Of course, we'd love to do an interview face to face. You do have a college degree, don't you? Greer, this is a surprise. So you need a job? Yes, Dr. Tomolo. Like I said over the phone, I need an assistant. 
but what I really need is a Jimmy a pig. I trust you, my friend. What do you need exactly? What's this drug you're going to inject me with? It's an enhancer. Based off the very story I got fired as your 12th grade science teacher over. The legend of the cat cans. Of Catland. Located beneath the surface of Earth's crust. Every other student thought you were joking. Until I became a joke. I never thought that. This is it, Greer. If we can get a successful run of it, the stuff will make us both rich. And can world will be all the better for it. No time like the present. Hold still. Should take effect in just a moment. I do feel strange. Try jumping up onto that catwalk. Wow. It worked. I feel stronger, faster. Because you are my dear. The secret of the cat cans is alive. And you missed Ram. And to think they laugh. After Galactus, what else could be new? Indeed, nice reflexes. Now it's time you try it on your costume. What costume? Does it fit? Yeah. Thought it would? I'll need an explanation, Dr. Tomolo. If the police won't can avenge the death of Bill Nelson. Then maybe the cat should. Hey, you got some money? Just give me a dollar. Just give me five dollars. Ah. Oh, who are you? You can call me the cat. Oh, I think I'll call you dead. You shouldn't play with guns. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I'm back. I was going to stalk and intimidate until he confessed. But I gave him a heart attack instead. That's justice, I guess. Something wrong? They pulled out something Greer. Telling them about our recent success and so on. Not even that way them. They're just not interested anymore. Care for a swim? Mayor. You and Tabuka have something in common. I am leaving Greer to my homeland. I want you to join me. Of course. Not a lot of options left anyway. That was close. I'm going to investigate. Get the alarm. <laughs> One arc reactor. What's next, Campbell? Now we retreat. <laughs> Who's that? Looks like trouble to me. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Up to no good. That much I know. Stop interfering and I'll let you live, deal? Talk about bullheaded. Wonder what you want this arc reactor for? None of your business, now get it back! Catch me if you can.
too slow. Too dumb too. I got the cat. She's on the run. Murdered that homeless cat and now she's stealing from Stark Industries. Tony must be spitting in his grave. Halt! Police! <sighs> Dr. Tomolo. Tabitha. I'm home. You're not going to believe who I just fought. But the amazing thing is I won. Mulcan and his moloids have warred with us, and what it's brought are two endangered species. But it has only driven Mulcan deeper into his insanity. We need a new tigra before the Catlands become a wasteland. Here's your tigra. She's already received a starter dose. Can bow blasted her with the alpha rifle. The radiation will surely kill her. She needs this as much as we need her. Then let us proceed. Be scared. My name is Balkatar. You remember Dr. Tumalo. And your Tigra. Our champion. Yes, I am. But still, the likelihood of Alkek and survival is almost zero. We few hide beneath can whirl just a breath away from extinction. I can feel your pain. All that you say is true. Our survival is not why we gave you this power, Tegra. What you can do is can venge us. You never told me you were one of them. But I'm not surprised to Molo. It was an hour before you called me that I finished the formula. It all seems meant to be. Morgan, I have it. The Ark Reactor. Finally, my Earth Mover machine is complete. Thank you, Kanbo. You're welcome, sir. I'll have Giganto Jr. here take the Moloids to clear out the cats. Then we'll blast our way out of here, and the world can finally regret casting me aside. No longer will my theories of Subterranea seem illogical. They'll all say it for themselves, undeniably. And for those that deny my newfound rule, will be cast into the remnants. <sighs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Run! Giganto Jr. Molkan sent him. 
It wasn't very nice. Well done, Tigra. There's still more to do. Show me the mole can. I'm going to rip his head off. I'm getting you out of here. The path to the surface world has been cleared. Farewell, Ken Bull. Nice playing with you. <laughs> One last obstacle, Tigra. Somewhere out there, Tabitha, is our new home. 